Number two is Northeastern and Boston University just finishing up with their warm-ups. We mentioned the major facilities upgrade at Northeastern University and what a terrific job they did there, the huge upgrade. Let's take you right out there right now and take a look at exactly what they did. I think it's a home run. Anybody that walks in here at any, any level of hockey, the first word out of their mouth is wow. And that's what we have, is a little bit of a wow appeal here. This is what we call a career project. You get one opportunity to make it, and this is it. This has been so well received by everyone from the student, the administration, and even from our competitors that used to play here as high school and college coaches. They come back, they my God, look what you've done. So it's been one of the most exciting projects that we were able to do. When you walk outside the door, you're, you know, you're met by this beautiful old Coliseum feel. We call it the cathedral. So you kind of incorporate you know, the history and then now the modern contemporary view of a weight room that we all enjoy today. To actually see it come to fruition in my four years uh, so quickly, it's, uh, it's a great feeling to be able to have the resources we have. And I know the team going forward is really going to be able to take advantage of that. And then the area that we're on right now just gives us the freedom to do different things athletically. And I, I think one of the things that I've really enjoyed about coaching is that being an athlete in football, hockey, baseball, boxing, I've got an idea of what, what type of athleticism you need to, in, in, to integrate into hockey. And I've never been in a facility quite like this where you have all those components available. It's not just a hockey facility. It's got a number of different things that gives our, gives our guys a diversity in how they're training. Northeastern head coach Greg Cronin was very much involved in the design of the new weight room. He needed to balance maximizing the space for the training equipment as well as creating space for his innovative training exercises such as boxing. Well, at first everyone was, you know, kind of like, oh, we have to box each other, but you know, it actually it works out well, you know, it's it's good time, it's a different workout, it kind of mixes things up, which we're looking for. It's something that I've used with the New York Islands, with the U.S. program. Um, it's really a conditioning component. Trigger, pick it up. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice work. But what I find is it builds a lot of confidence, it builds a lot of mental toughness. Believe it or not, there's a lot of athleticism that's involved in boxing in terms of your footwork, your conditioning, your timing, your ability to transmit power through different spaces. And what our guys get is they get a different view of how that translates in the world of boxing. And when we get on the ice, it's not about being tough or being dirty or trying to create this, this savage mentality. It's more about athleticism, being disciplined, being humble. For me, those are lessons that will really empower our guys to have a successful um, management of adversity throughout their lives. It's a great activity, you know, and um, we've been having lots of fun with it. And, um, you know, they're, they're great workouts. And, um, you know, every once in a while you get punched in the face and, you know, builds, uh, you know, builds some character. And You're fighting someone, but uh, you get hit in the face, but you got to deal with it, I guess. So it's fun. You know, it makes you really confront your fears. Uh, you're in the ring with uh, another guy and he's right in front of you and you're going to see what you're going to do. And uh, it's, it's become pretty competitive and the guys are getting better and uh, you know, it's you know, something to really bring the guys together closer. Yeah, some pretty unique training there. Tell me the truth. When you were over there as the assistant coach, you and Crow put on the gloves and go at it a couple times? A couple times in the office. <laughs> well, the renovation is something that we talked about, and it's, it is necessary in terms of recruiting yes. to keep up with other teams. And you got, you know, you got so many great schools around here that are able to recruit, and for Northeastern to keep up with them, th this was necessary. I know that when you were there, you guys must have talked about this and trying to get this ball rolling. Yeah, when Greg was there, it was, you know, kind of being the architect and going through the blueprints in the building stage of that. And it was kind of a question of the have and the have nots. You, you have a recruiting trip with a kid. We split the recruiting trip with Boston College and then Boston University. And they go to those two facilities and all of a sudden they come to Northeastern and a great, it's a great old barn, great, you know, a great history that comes with it. But the whistles and bells, the strength conditioning facility, um, you know, the, the indoor track, uh, those are the types of things that kind of close that gap right now and for the school it's a statement from the school of where they want this direction they want a national title and they want a bean pot title Greg none of this stuff was around when you were getting recruited right <laughs> not at all did you put on the gloves <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't you recognize the gloves <laughs> but I'll make another point about these facilities for the kids who are there now there's nothing better than hanging out in the locker room building camaraderie for a team. And when you have beautiful facilities like this, not only the weight room, but you have the lounge facilities they have now in the upgrades, you want to stay at the rink. You want to hang out. And that brings a team closer and closer together. And it shows up on the ice. Well, they certainly did a terrific job there. And it showed uh, in, that, uh, in that whole highlight. All right, this week, Mark.